Conversation analysts look at talk in slow motion. We slow things down to look at the detail that comprise people's actual everyday encounters. We are interested in every breath, every sigh, every wobble of the voice, every rise in pitch and fall in pitch, every croak, every overlap. What we're looking for when we slow things down is a little bit like when we see the analysis of a football match. We're interested in the setup of a conversation from turn to turn, from person to person. Turns can be placed really rapidly next to each other. There can be long gaps between turns. There can be no gap between turns. There can be an overlap between turns. Conversation analysts have shown that the placement of turns is pretty important. And in the case of emergency calls, it's one key to understanding how so quickly and so intuitively the call taker figured out what was going on. It's all in the overlap. Hold on, ma'am. I'd like to order a pizza for delivery. Ma'am, you've reached 911. This is an emergency yeah, line. Uh, large with half pepperoni, half mushroom. Um, you know you've called 911. This is an emergency Do you line. Know how long it'll be? Okay, ma'am. Is everything okay? It's in this interruption that the call takers seem to pick up that this is genuinely please hear me as requesting help, even though I can't use the words to request for help. What we see in non-genuine requests is that that overlapping pattern doesn't happen. And if you're not collecting the recordings, and if you're not analysing the recordings, and if you're not transcribing the recordings in the technical detail that we do, you wouldn't identify what is it that people are actually doing that gets the assistance they need.